In this video, I am going to show how we can share our Jamboard files with students. Today, I am going to demonstrate four different ways. If you have a method that I have not included in this video, please don't hesitate to write it in the comment section so we can help one another in using Jamboard with our students. If you are a beginner of Jamboard, please consider watching my beginner's tutorial videos. You may want to pause this video first, then open the links in the description. After watching those tutorial videos for beginners, then continue this video. Before I begin with the list, I would like to thank you first for watching this video. If you find this helpful, please click the like button and share this with your friends too. I also appreciate you subscribing in this channel. I started this journey last June 2020 during the time when there was a strict implementation of community quarantine here in the Philippines due to coronavirus pandemic. In this channel, I document what I learned regarding online tools for remote learning and share it on YouTube so others who might need the same information will have a free access. Now, after almost seven months, I am very happy to see this channel grow and read your constructive and encouraging comments. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and please click the notification bell so you will be updated every time I upload a new video. Going back to our topic today, let's now start the four ways on how Jamboard can be shared with students. The first way is to use the Jamboard's share button. Let me show you where that is. First, I will go to jamboard.google.com to open a new Jamboard file, which we can call as Jam. On this Jamboard's landing page or main page, we can see all Jamboard files that we created and that were shared to us by other users. Just a quick review, this little plus button or the create button will open a new blank jam when clicked. For this demo of sharing Jamboard files, I already created a file that I will share with my students. To open the file, I just have to click it. After that, the file will be loaded in the browser. Suppose this file is what I'm going to use for group activity of my students. At the top of the screen, I will click the down arrow to expand the frame bar. Right now, I have four frames. I can move from one frame to another by clicking the specific frame thumbnail. For example, this is for group 1, group 2, group 3, and group 4. If I need one more frame with the same template, I just simply click the three dot symbol or more option symbol at the upper right side of the thumbnail and select duplicate. As we can see, we now have the fifth frame. If you want to delete, we go to the more option symbol and select delete. To hide the frame bar, I will click the up arrow. Again, we can go from one frame to another by selecting frame thumbnail at the frame bar. Alternatively, we can use the left arrow to show the previous frame and the right arrow to show the next frame. If you press the right arrow beyond the number of existing frames, then a new blank frame will be created. If that is a mistake, you can easily remove it by going to the frame bar and selecting the delete from the more options. Going back to our main goal, which is to know how to share this Jamboard file, I will go to the share button at the upper right side of the screen. In this pop-up screen, I will go to the get link area, then click the change link. Here we have the option to only allow students within our school domain to access the file. But for my demo today, I will select anyone with a link and for the type of access, I will choose editor. I will click the copy link button, then press the done button. At this point, the link of the file is already copied. I can now paste it anywhere which my students will be able to see, click, or copy. Suppose I am the student. I can simply go to a browser, log in my Google or school account, then put the link that my teacher has given me. As we can see, I, as a student, now have the editor access to the file. I can select what particular frame I am assigned to. Then, I will double-click the sticky note where I am going to write my name. And continue with the activity. And that's the first way to share Jamboard file with students. Now, let's proceed to the next method. The second method of sharing the file with students is by going to the Google Drive. To go there, we can enter drive.google.com in the address bar. Right now, I am in my Google Drive landing or home page. I will use the scroll bar on the right of the screen to look for the Jamboard file that I created and that I will share with my students. Let's say this is the file. I will right-click my mouse device, then from the options that appear, I will choose Share. This pop-up will appear. In the Get Link area, I will click Change to anyone with a link. I will click the drop-down arrow to verify that anyone with a link is selected. 
Then in the access type, I will choose editor. I will click the copy link button, then press the done button. At this point, the link has been copied and I will just have to paste it somewhere that my students will be able to see, click, or copy. Suppose I am the student. I can simply go to a browser, log in my Google or school account, then put the link that my teacher has given me. The frame in this Jamboard shows an instruction not to click the clear frame button as it will remove all the contents of the whiteboard. This instruction must be clearly understood by all students since all of them are accessing the same file. Whatever is seen by one student is seen by all. Whatever change made will appear to all students. As stated here, once the instruction is understood, the student can press the next arrow symbol to begin the activity. Let's continue to method number three. The third method is in the Google Meet application. Last November 2020, Whiteboard was one of the newest additional features in Meet. To use it, we can go to the lower right side of the screen and click the three dot symbol or more option symbol. On the pop-up menu, select Whiteboard. A pop-up window will appear. There are two options that we can use here. The first one is to start a new whiteboard. Essentially, it will create a black Jamboard. The other option is choose from Drive. From the name itself, we are going to pull an existing file from Google Drive. Remember that whatever is selected, a link to the jam will be sent to others in the meeting through the chat function. I will show you that in a moment. In this demo, I will first show you how to start a new whiteboard. Then later, I will show you how to use the second option. I will click the start a new whiteboard. A new window will appear. As we can see, we just created a new Jamboard and by default, it has one blank frame in it. To share this with students, click the share button located at the upper right side of the screen. Then in the get link area, click the change link. You can set it so only those in the school domain can access the file or you can also set this to anyone with a link. I will choose the latter. For the type of access, I will choose editor. I will copy the link then click the done button. I will minimize this window to go back to the Google Meet screen. I will click the chat symbol. Then as we can see, the jam link was automatically sent. We can also paste here the link that I just copied earlier. Both links will go to the same jam file. At this point, let's choose an existing Jamboard file from my Google Drive. I will click the More options at the lower right side and select Whiteboard. From the options in this pop-up window, I will click Choose from Drive. After that, I will see this Select Jam pop-up window. I will double-click the file that I will share. For example, this class activity. The Jam will be opened in a Chrome window. I will click the share button. In the get link area, I will set anyone with the link as editor. I will copy the link and click the done button. I will go back to the meet call. I will click the chat symbol. Notice that the link was automatically sent too. This link can be accessed by all the participants in the meeting. I can also paste here the copied link earlier. Both links are also expected to open the same file. After the class used the Jamboard, it is recommended to change the permission of anyone with the link to viewer access. To do that, go to the Share button, then click the Change link. Select anyone with a link and choose Viewer as the permission type. We are on the last but definitely not the least method to share Jamboard. The fourth method is through Google Classroom. Let me show you where. First, I will open the Google Class. I will go to the Classwork page. I will click the Create button and choose Assignment. I will enter the details required here, like the title. 
I will click the Add button. The options that I can select from are Google Drive, Link, File, and YouTube. We use Google Drive if you want to select from our own Google Drive. We use the link option if you want to put, let's say, the link of a website. We choose the file option if you want to upload a file from our computer. And we choose the YouTube option if you want to add a video from YouTube. For this demo, I will select Google Drive. The insert files using Google Drive pop-up window will appear. I can search the drive by writing in the text box the file name or title of the Jamboard file. For example, I will find Individual Activity Demo Jamboard. I will select the file and click the insert button. Here, I will be given three options on how I would like to share this file with students. The first option will only allow students to view the file, meaning they cannot modify it. The second option is all the students can edit the file, which means all my students will only work on one file. The third option is to make a copy for each student. This will create one file for each student. For this third option, whatever a student do in his file will not affect anyone's file. Since this is an individual activity, therefore, this third option is what I need. I will complete all other things required on the settings located on the right side of the screen. If everything is set, I will click the Assign button. If I want to post this on a later date and time, I can select the Schedule option instead. This pop-up window will appear where I can choose what date and what time. Other options aside from Assign and Schedule are Save Draft and Discard. After assigning, all the students will be notified via email that they have an assignment. They just have to open their Google Classroom and go to the Classwork page to answer the assignment. Students should click the file, then a new tab will appear where they can start answering the assignment. To recap, I demonstrated four different ways to share Jamboard files with students, which are through the following. First, Jam's share button. Second, Google Drive's files share option. Third, Google Meet's a whiteboard. And fourth, Google Classroom's add button in the assignment classwork. Thank you very much for your time today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write it in the comment section below.